Hey guys, so welcome to my new video. As you can see, I'm already in Micro 1.19.3 and that is because I will show you the best silvers shaders settings that you can get and to get the best FPS and also to have the best look of these shaders. So we can finally get into that. So the first step is to get to the settings. How obvious, right? So click escape, go to the options, video settings and shader packs. As you can see, Sildur's Vibrant Shaders Extreme and choose the shader pack settings. In case you are using the Optifine version, uh, you can just find the shader pack settings somewhere around here. It doesn't matter because the settings are the same. So go to the, the first one and it is anti-aliasing. Turn off TAA and TA quality to fast. Go back and go to plume. We have to turn this off because this really impact your FPS and the performance. So just turn it off and let's get this to low. This is the best settings. Then go to the colors. And to be honest, we don't need to do anything in here. It just depends on you if you want a bar brighter shader or with higher contrast you can just set this here and then go to depth of field so i have this off but you can turn it on as you can see it has only low performance impact so this depends on you if you want that or no the smooth transition let's leave it on on and distance blur yes off go back again and the fog options. I don't like the fog, so I just turn it off. And the under underwater fog is good. Yeah, so it's a good underwater fog. I know the regular fog. I just don't like it, so I always turn it off. And it also have a high impact to the FPS. So next, motion blur. Yes, I don't use motion blur. Many people does, but not me. I just don't like it so you can turn it off or on it doesn't have a high impact on the performance uh, normal map so we don't need to do anything in here and okay let's get to the reflections so this is pretty interesting so water reflections leave it off and also turn off rain reflections polish the reflections off yes and ice and glass reflections of two the wave size leave it on one zero and everything else too it apply now just make sure it's working and let's go to sky and lighting so the lens flares leave it on off because it it has a really high impact on the fps the raindrops off good rays off too and volumetric lighting of two yes of course so apply again i don't want to do anything bad so go to the shadows mm, i like shadows but if you have a really low end pc we have to turn it off just as you can see here is a shadow and i applied it yes disappeared but i like shadows i leave it on off on but if you have a really low end pc please turn it off the color shadows of course leave it on on grass shadows on race trace shadows oh this is pretty amazing i love that but no just don't use it it has a really high impact on the experience and performance in the game so go to the shading and turn off the ambient occlusion just go back again let's speed it up yes nothing in here Missive light, nothing in here too, and I think nothing in the debug. So click apply, and let me show you how the world looks like now. Yeah, so it's not that bad, it's not good. Yes, it's not good, but it's not that bad, and you can get a really high FPS. So you can see I have almost 200 right now. That is not that bad, to be honest. So just adjust these settings to you, just turn, on, turn off each settings and try it on and if you don't have lags just leave it just like as it is and you can enjoy this amazing game with shaders like this 
enjoy guys and make sure you subscribe and like my videos if you want to see more i have also the best things for bsl chapa or his use shade see ya